Do I look like Hello my fellow degenerates, CookBoss88 here and welcome to r slash Yiffenhell where the recesses of what the worst of the furry fandom has to offer accumulate and where most of the reddit youtubers brain cells come to die. Care to join me? No? Now to be honest, I don't blame you. When dad has to tell you it's bedtime. Okay, I got you a glass of water and pumped you full of... I don't want to say those words twice. It's bedtime, buddy. I, we're off to a great start. I'm already starting on my words and I can feel... I, I can already feel my brain cells dying already. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ and all of his carpenter friends, please help me. This is strong Alabama energy and I don't like it. Oh, holy hell. Uh, keep me safe in your big strong arm. I don't even have a proper voice for this. 10 inch Tony son. Uh, nah. What has Tony been putting in his. his put, uh, nah. I, I don't even. I can't even perform words correctly. Has Tony been putting steroids in his milk and cereal? What the hell has he been, has he been doing? Who made this? Why would anyone make this? Majira Strawberry Fan says. Sometimes I wish I could just get bred by a big strong wolf persona, preferably in a diaper, strung up by my tail. Hey man, so long as you're not related to that fictional, fictional wolf persona of yours, you're fine. You do you. I'm not gonna judge, just, you know, brain protection or whatever. When relatives ask why you haven't had a girlfriend yet, this, this is why. This is why you don't have a girlfriend yet. Okay, um, believe it or not, there's nothing wrong with this picture. Part of why that is is because this dude with the glasses is in a relationship with this dude and the Puma used to be friends with benefits with the dude in the glasses. All three characters are of age and they can do whatever they want and I support that. I know those characters, I've read the comic that they came from and it's actually a really good comic. Um, if you're not squeamish with content like this and not underage, of course, um, I suggest you check it out. The name of the comic is Little Buddy by Mish, a very good artist, very good um, furry artist that I've been actually been reading a lot of um, their work and so far I'm not really disappointed. If Godzilla were real, he would produce that many gallons of urine per day. And I would swallow all of it. Ah yes, Facebook people in their natural habitat. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Let's move on. Let's move on. I don't want to. I don't want to linger on this picture anymore. It's so cursed. If furries can literally screw while wearing their suits, you can deal with a face mask for ten minutes while you're in Walmart, Karen. You know that is a very good point. Thanks to Duke Doberman, I now know that some furries have adult fun times in their suits, and. I don't know about you, but those kinds of activities can get a bit hot and humid, and yet they survived. So now, it is now considered a fact that Merce suitors are stronger than Karens. Hey, hey, you, you, let me screw your boyfriend all day, all day, now you need a new one. <laughs> this guy with the mug is just, for Christ's sake, Anthony, it's 6 in the Ooh. morning. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, honest question. What is likable about Vorpron? Eh, if it turns you on, it turns you on. That's life. No, 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 no. Get a bit deeper. What is so sexy about, you know, being swallowed? Is it the thought of being trapped or being the person who's swallowing? I don't know, but I have a feeling that it would feel nice to be surrounded by someone's entrails. I don't know, it just clicked with me. I did not ask for the fundamentals of War 101. And neither did you when you clicked on this video, and now both of us are are just cursed with this information. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. There's there's a lot of things unpacked here. Like why does it have the eyes of an internet <gasps> porn hub addict? Why is it wearing a skirt around its neck of all places? And why, why does it have the forehead of a middle-aged balding man? Everything is wrong here. Who the hell made this? Cookie dough ice cream fills me with joy. And so does 14 werewolf boyfriends. Can y'all explain something to me? What is the significance of the 14 werewolf boyfriends meme? I mean, isn't one or two enough? 
you have two hands and only enough orifices for a wiener to enter. 14 werewolves is overkill. Your eyes are bigger than your libido, man. Oh, wow. I'm getting so many Twitter notifications. Hmm. Maybe if I... <laughs> what kind of... Okay, okay. What kind of phone is that? Last I checked, phone vibrations aren't that strong. You know, if you're that desperate for something to be vibrating with it in between your thighs, just get an actual vibrator. Or, you know, if you want if you, if you really want to go cheap, use an electric toothbrush. You know, just just putting it out there. A, a phone might be a bit too much cuz you know, you use that thing. You know, you can't you, there's only like so many ways you can disinfect that thing and uh yeah, just, you know, either buy an actual vibrator or just, you know, get an electric to get an electric toothbrush. He's out of the jar and he's freaking pissed. I hate the fact that I know that what this refers to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you better keep it that way. You don't want to know any of this. Thinking about the 2005 Nintendo DS new stylus. Okay, you know what? This this was intentional. Okay, someone from Nintendo made this. Of all the places that you can put that thing, you have to put it strategically near Mew's crotch. And you know, it it does not help that it's red with a white tip. It really doesn't. It may be 9 o'clock in New York, but over here, it's mountain time. <laughs> ah, Father of the Pride, I freaking love this show. Larry is just an absolute riot, and he's voiced by John Goodman, if you don't know. Um, this show did not last long, apparently. It only had, like, 13 episodes, which is kind of a blow, because it's a really good show. And I wanted to, like, see more of this. Pedophiles and Zophiles don't belong in Pride, they belong in prison. Hey guys, Ferenkio here, the original poster slash artist of this. I've had a lot of time to, thought, to think about this and I just want to say, I still stand by it. Screw pedos and files. You know what, the one thing I can say about this though is, um, I agree, 100%. Also, people who want to defend zoo files or a zoo file themselves and plan to keyboard warrior their way into my comment section, bring it on. I got nothing to fear from you people. I got a screenshot function on my phone and 4,000 plus witnesses, and you have what is essentially a felony in most states in America. Bring it on. You got nothing. Now for this last post, is it's a bit special. I gotta say, it's a bit special. I'm afraid. I told my girlfriend that Fabian can pollinate like any other moths, and she drew this. This is not how he pollinates. What the hell? <laughs> oh no. I'm a g I'm good friends with this guy, um, Colin Bryan. Me and him are both uh, members of the Heavenly Hangout Discord, and as well as his girlfriend. Both are awesome artists, and um, I suggest going to the Twitter accounts and um, go follow them. As for the art itself. It's cursed, but I can't bring myself to hate it because it's just amazing. <laughs> and you can tell, you can tell that Fabian is just enjoying it as well. Look at his face. Um, he's just like, oh yeah, open wide for daddy. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, Colin. I'm sorry. Uh, your, your girlfriend is awesome, by the way. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of r slash Hell. I'm actually glad that we ended this video on a very positive note and that we lost less brain cells this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, and support me on Coffee. Donate a dollar, donate a hundred, all up to you. This has been your fellow degenerates, CookBoss88, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. See ya! Salamit ng gabi May pupuno ng kuwang sa iyong tabi Pagmamahal 
Ang tanging hatid Patiting ka rin ng iyong kislap sa dilim Malayo man may hahatid ng hangin Ang mga hangahin na puno ng pag-ibig Ang pangarap ko'y para sa'yo Nag-iisang bituin Laman ng puso at damdamin ko Nag-iisang bituin Kahit saan ka man Dalhin ang tarhanay Dama pa rin Dahil tayo'y nakatitig sa iisang bituin Tulad ng mga tala sa langit Ika'y magniningning Ang pangarap ko'y para sa'yo Nag-iisang bituin Laman ng puso at damdamin ko Nag-iisang bituin kahit saan ka mandalhin ang tadahanay dama pa rin Dahil tayo'y nakatitig sa iisang bituin